guys we have lots of comments here isn't it cool if we have the pagination here and because we are using laravel live wire everything becomes so easy pagination data on the laravel live wire we have this and if you are familiar with laravel then it's again going to be super super easy because this laravel live wire uses basic laravel pagination system but here we are showing all the comments from this comments variable and on the mount function we are initializing the values of the comments let's see what's going to happen when we change it to paginate and let's for now just have a pagination of two items refresh and now we get error this error is saying you don't have some numeric string array null or boolean inside this comment because this paginate is not a, any any one of these things it's just a laravel stuff so what we can do we can remove this so i just comment it and i comment this comments and then i will copy this because now i am going to pass this data from our view so we have this view and i can say comments is this one and remember because you are having this public variable it's very important to comment this or to remove this comments variable otherwise this will not going to work so let's see what's going to happen refresh and now we just have two and let me show you if we if you also have a variable with the same name like here we have a comment and we are passing comment here so laravel live wire will not take care about this data you are passing so now you can see it's still giving error because this comment doesn't have any value mounted is empty okay so this means we need to remove this and we also need to remove the mount method because now we don't need that refresh this page and yes we have this but what about the pagination links once again it's super easy same laravel steps posts links so because we now have a uh, comments so not posts so just after for each loop we have we can say comments and links and links actually and remember this variable name should exactly match whatever you are passing or whatever you are looping through that should be that must be actually same cool reload this page and now we have the pagination links yay every link is there so now if i click on two you can see it's two three it's three four it's four but we have a problem here the problem here is you can see on uh, just keep your eye on the tab you can see when i click on two it's actually reloading the page this we don't want this so now actually whenever you are using this pagination system you need to use this trait called with pagination so let's go here on this comments class and use pagination and use it at the top here we have and then let's go refresh the page and now we have a previous and next and if i click on next there is no refresh of the page and still it's working absolutely fine now let's dive into the with pagination trait we have so this trait has some functions and by default the page is one so when you are not doing anything it's the first page then we have three important functions one is reset another is the next page and the previous page and as you know the previous page minus one at next page plus one go to page you can directly go so there's a four important one and the reset one is resetting to the first page okay so we have this pagination views so you can see these pagination links are not good looking things and we can uh, customize this using this pagination views function and we will see how we can do that and then some other things related to the pagination initializing with pagination actually okay so that's good and let's now try to create a new comment because now remember 
on our add comment we are validating we are creating storing into the database and then we are prepending to the comments variable we had but now we don't have this so instead we need to remove it but yes you can see if i try to create it let's say i having six and click add we are getting the problem which is saying that this property doesn't exist so let's remove it and now let's try so what's going to happen okay so let's close it and still when you try to remove it says don't have the comment so on the remove we are also removing from the comment which is not available remove that from here and next try to click on this delete and yeah it's deleting and you can see it's refreshed and what if I try to create once again click on add it's added how this happens without any refresh and without any uh, notice you can see whenever I remember this thing whenever you create or whenever you delete whatever you do it's all getting the DOM so if I cross if I delete it's having on this preview you can see we have a whole of the DOM coming from the back end and whenever this is coming from the back end this comments latest paginate 2 is triggered and every time it fetches the data from the database so this is the way it actually uh, create the new things and delete and remove from the list so once again we can create one and that's added cool now let's work on this links and make them beautiful